on this episode. Eric, Justin, and myself head out deep into the canyon in search of gold and adventure. We're headed to a new area, a canyon deep in the mountains. We've heard it's one of the most beautiful and the most richest places in all of the motherload. Well, let me just say it's going to be one heck of a journey getting out of here, that's for sure. We are deep in a canyon. This is new ground. I'd love to tell you where we're at, but this is somewhere we're probably going to come back to. So, Northeast Middle Fort, Justin says. <laughs> but this place is, this is legendary right here. If you knew where we were at, this place has a lot of history. So much mining done here. It's so hard to get to. It's very remote. Very beautiful. Check this out. We've got a bunch of springs up in here. There's one over there. They're all on top of this hill and you could tell someone's channeled this stuff all down into here and there's a holding pond down in here. You can very clearly see it right there. See this rock wall and it's all flattened out and down in there. Nice little basin. We had actually read an article about um, some Chinese miners that got caught hydraulic mining up here. They were um, caught caught up here and they said that they were using springs and the people weren't sure how they were even managing it with that little amount of water. But that looks just like what they're talking about in that old article I read. I bet that's exactly it. Pretty cool. Small metal bits. Oh yeah. Pretty darn cool. Contraption. It's the wheel of gold. You, you spin the, the you gotta spin it, and that's how you know you'll get the gold when Dude, you get to the bottom. We gotta wait till 235. Spin this exactly due north. And then we'll look for the shadow. <laughs> It'll point the us to where the gold the, is. The <laughs> yeah, it's not the right time of year. Look at that cemented looking stuff up there. That stuff's still cemented. Concretia. Concretia. They're probably washing it it's away and breaking it away as they went. That's probably a good spot to detect, dude, right there. That shelf, man. Probably been hit before, though. You never know. At least, yeah, to an hour, I would say. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Don't fall down that. <laughs> Beautiful, dude. Wow. That's awesome. We made it. Look at all how much this place has been worked. It's incredible. Look at all this bedrock. <laughs> yeah, it's all jagged too, not like the smooth gold. <laughs> we should bring 
our sluice. I wanted, I wanted to get like, I wanted to get to where those rocks are up there. I don't know how far you guys want to go. Almost first casualty. Woo! All right. Yeah. Oh man. Be right. careful. Yeah. Slippery. <laughs> we have made it. Look at that. Look at this canyon we're in. They say it's one of the most beautiful canyons in all of the mother load. And hey, we got Justin. Over there is Eric. He's taking off that way, I guess. Maybe we'll maybe we'll keep going that way. I don't know. Wanna keep going? <laughs> it does look kind of good in here. I'm gonna walk the tree. Walking the tree. Ooh. Now do I dare walk out there on the tree? <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I don't do heights well. <laughs> We're starting to move up river some. It's getting a little better looking. Very cool. There's a bunch over here too. Need a pry bar? I can't even move it. That's so wedged in there. <laughs> Who knows how long it is, too? Dude, there's a cable. Where? There's more cable over there oh, too. Oh, that's got to be it then. And I thought there was part of the cable right around, up in there. Well, up. I could <laughs> any cable for anything too, but this is pretty cool. I'm sure you could just drink that water. There's nothing above us. I filled up my water bottle at that spring back there. <laughs> Well, they have a little glimmer of hope. Eric's starting to find a little bit of gold over here. Because we're not finding it. Four nice pieces? Look at the pan. Oh, I already see a piece. Look at that. Let's dig. Oh, 
serpentine. got a decent pan. Eric just said he's got VG over here. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Oh dude, that's, that's a gold. nice piece of VG. That's a gold to me. That's a gold pan. That's gold. Oh man, congratulations. That's an awesome piece. Hopefully, hopefully he's got about 20 friends every <laughs> Well, he's got a bunch of brothers and sisters. That's really one of the first times I've ever gotten just PG in the dry dirt, you know what I mean? Oh, dude. Nice piece, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this pan I just got. Not bad. Yeah. Dude, does those add up pretty quick, you know yeah. what I mean? Hell yeah, yeah, we're starting, on it. Yeah, starting to get it. We're on it. I just uncovered a snake. It scared the shit out of me. No, I ain't a rattler. Get away from me. Mm. I don't want to come near me. Hey, bro. I'm trying to dig there. So I was just digging in this hole right here. And the there's these guys. Where the snakes not happy. Snake that. eggs. I'm gonna transplant these somewhere else, maybe up here. I think the snake's in that crack up there. Um, I'm gonna dig this out and then rebury it. So, pretty interesting. Put them right here for now. Uh, put them right there and I'll get back to them. This is my last pan. Not very good, but I've been getting either nothing or little bits of color a couple pieces in there I don't know if the camera's gonna see it or not this is the spot that Eric got all those nice pieces from take a step back and you can see Nothing special. We worked everything around here. Didn't really get much at all, but right there, for whatever reason, I think it's coming down this hill. This is below a bunch of hydraulic workings. Maybe it was just a little pocket that, for whatever reason, didn't get got, or I don't know. Maybe it got replenished. Who knows, but gold was right there. Okay, so we've been at it all day. It's like two o'clock. We're going to start wrapping up because we have probably a two or three hour hike out of here that's going to just test us to our limits. So we're going to really focus on that and make sure that we get out of here safely. Um, not getting very good gold. Getting some gold. Um, actually, Eric's been doing pretty darn good. He's gotten quite a few pickers, some bigger pieces. But um, we've just been finding little bits here and there. It's kind of been really spotty. We're probably not in the best area, but we're where we could be at this point. So, might have to come back here. This is a really neat spot. I mean, it's, you know, it's freaking beautiful. It's a humongous canyon and a big open, um, just a wide valley here. And then you got the huge, uh, this is Immigrant Gap, I believe, or Lover's Leap. Um, giant gap one of those behind me over here it's beautiful I mean workings everywhere Just tailing piles everywhere there's even tailing piles if you can see that silver streak up on the hill that's all tailing pile it's everywhere up here it's been just worked and they, they did a pretty good job obviously of uh, cleaning up at least in the area we're at we picked this area too because um, not only is it bedrock, but it's right underneath the hydraulic wash. So they've been washing down this hill the whole time. 
and uh, doing clean outs, washing down clean outs, and then there's been natural runoff since then. So, I mean, we've been finding gold. He hit a good pocket. Did pretty well. So, I'm gonna go back down to the little waterfalls down here. Um, I've been gathering water from there. I think it's pretty safe to drink. It's coming off this hill. There's nothing above us. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go get me some water, fill up a couple bottles, make sure that I stay hydrated on the way out of here. Maybe wet up in the river before we take off, and uh, we're gonna hit the trail. This happened to be one of those trips where we didn't find much gold. Well, I take that back. Eric found a good amount of gold, but we did okay. It wasn't quite what we expected, but the real value was held in all the beautiful scenery and amazing sights that we had to witness this day. The amount of earth that these old timers move by hand is nothing short of incredible. It really makes you wonder how rich it once was and how rich it might still be. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you on the next trip. Thanks for watching.